I am here, back with another tour review. And yes, you see this. Look at the Jurassic Collection. Just so yeah, guys. Here we go with the tour review. And as you can see, right here we have, a, for me, a long-awaited toy to complete the hunger for my Indoraptor. You know. Yeah. So let's open it. I hope I don't destroy anything. Okay. And as you, as I was telling you, you can see this sort of watch on thingy. So wait. Just a minute. I'll be back in here in a few seconds and she would be out. So we're box. back guys and over here as you can see it's out of the box. But can you like I gotta really I'm really thankful of Mattel of what they're doing. Like I mean it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Because like when I first saw, hold up, when I first saw Maisie's figure when it was revealed on the S, on the New York Comic Con, it was, Maisie was the same size as Owen Grady, and now can you see the difference? Yeah, here's me, okay, oh, Maisie, oh, now you're gonna fall, who think about that, huh? Nobody thinks about that, huh? So yeah, for scale wise, if you can see right there, yeah, Maisie compared to Owen and Claire, she is shorter. She is really shorter. And it, I mean, it's so, I'm so grateful about that. And the way they made her short is, they just decreased the level of articulation in her. So we can make her face upward like this. So as you can see, she if you if we can compare this to Owen, yeah, there you go. You can see Maisie does not have uh, like ball joints or even any joint on the elbow. Like no joint, uh, like no joint on the between the waist. You cannot twist her waist, the waist. And then you like just she doesn't have that uh, elbow articulation neither the waist articulation she just have this knee articulation and this way they made her shorter and one more cool thing that I just noticed about this toy if I can really found it yeah there so one of the, I was watching Victoria Cantina's review for Maisie, and someone commented that this T-Rex toy is an actual toy that Maisie, okay, used for her playing in that volcano diorama. And that's so cool. That is awesome. Like, you can just put this toy in her hand, and there you go. That's how she all. But another cool thing right now, if I put the skeleton down there, this is the main thing. Like, I mean, look at this. We have this sort of 15-pack uh, battle damage T-Rex. First, this was the small thing. But when now you see this, and just look at the difference. Yeah. And this T-Rex toy cannot stand on its own, but it's no problem for me. But if you just look at it, it's shorter than the uh, this bowel damage T-Rex minifigure. It's even smaller. And this just makes me uh, remind of what actual dinosaur toys are like. Like if you can see trash and throw right there. And then you can see the colossal. So uh, in a mini dinosaur, this is like uh, this is like a this mini toy is like a thrash and throw T-Rex, and this is like a super colossal T-Rex. So that's pretty awesome. Now I'll put you aside and bring Maisie out here. No, where's Maisie? Maisie, oh, there you are. Yes. So now let's talk about the detail. As you can see on the on the head, 
there is some fine detail on her face. This they actually got the accuracy perfect on it. The hair is gold. I mean, it wasn't that blonde, I would say. It was like this sort of brownish hair. And then you got these stripes all going over her t-shirt. This is pretty cool. This toy is pretty cool as a kid, uh, as a toy of a kid. Because uh, if you remember, we actually not got a, uh, uh, a kid toy, like, before the, uh, as we have only got two uh, children's toys. Like, we got, uh, I think, I just think that we had our Kirby toy. I may be wrong, but then we had that, uh, what we can say, Tim. We had Tim figure, which was, an, which was totally inaccurate. <coughs> oh, I just coughed. I'm sorry. But this is really cool. But now, let put you aside, or, okay, no, you ain't falling down, no, no, you ain't falling down, stand up, come on, oh my god, stand, yeah, now we go to the skeleton, and yes, I've, I've noticed this, but if you can just compare it to the thrush and throw T-Rex skull, it's smaller than it, but it's actually in scale with the uh, Extreme Chompin T-Rex head, which is really cool. But now we go in detail, and this has a whole lot of detail. Like, you can open, like, every sort of his mouth. It can look down, it can, and this, you can rotate it in any way. Then you have this display stand, which I love, because this is just like the Lockwood Manor. But what I would actually recognize, which I would recommend uh, Mattel, is that, like, Kenna had its own thing, making baby dinosaurs. Baby dinosaurs. But what Mattel is trying to do, they are also trying to copy uh, Hasbro, but as you can see, they are not actually getting successful making these sort of toys because they are baby toys and they they are just the scaled down version of a big toy and what you can actually do is make skeletons with the toy like he, um, like Maisie came with this sort of T-Rex skeleton skull so like you could have made a Wheatley with a, a Triceratops skull uh, uh, Owen with a blue skull with a velociraptor skull it would be nice to have every dinosaur skull rather than having these sort of really tiny toys like this one and not even have paint on it the only one toy which has to which has paint on him and a bit of detail is blue baby blue yeah because she is one of the main characters in this movie and if you can even see this see so they would really try to win for a scale. Like you can see, it's baby blue, but over here, this is tinier than the baby blue. And when I see tiny, it's actually very tiny. Very, very tiny. And one of the other problems that I faced was you cannot be perfect with this skeleton. Like you can see, I want these peg holes to be right in there, like this. But they're just there, out. This one is in. But this one is out. And as soon as you try to go, there's this gap forming. And as, try, as soon as you try to make this collapse inside, this starts to fall off. And as you can see, it starts to break. So that's the only uh, kind of a bummer that this, this skeleton has. Or then... <clears throat> but either way, this is an amazing thing. Amazing feet like the paint job on it can you see how perfectly it has been painted like these sort of freckles on it these sort of speckling things it made it look very very real it just looks like that i'm holding an actual dinosaur skull and it feels a solid toy but this like this can you can move it around and that is pretty cool the Maisie figure so all in all, if you ask me to rate this toy, I would 
I would rate it a 9.5 out of 10, which makes it 10 out of 10. But I'm just taking out 0.5 because just a little bit of not having things correct, like it would be way more like I want this to be perfect. Like there are some problems with this toy, but all in all, this toy is a great figure. As a mini figure, as a like action figure, this is pretty cool. Like Claire comes, uh, Claire actually comes with a gyrosphere, which is massive. So yeah, there you go. That that looks pretty awesome, right there. And if you can all. Um, Oh, yeah, there you go. So, guys, hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.